Welcome back dito sa Cure. Dumating na po tayo sa last part ng ating talakayan mga kaibigan. Medyo lumalalim ng ating mga natututunan sa araw na ito at nagkakaroon, uh, sa pagkakaroon ng appendicitis ng isang tao. Pero uh, bago tayo magtapos, syempre, let's talk about more dun sa symptoms and signs po ng appendicitis, Doc. Okay. Um, the best way to diagnose uh, acute appendicitis is history and physical examination, as I said earlier. Now, uh, signs and symptoms, abdominal pain is number one, okay? Abdominal pain, as they describe it, is uh, it starts in the epigastric area, this area, or peri-umbilical peri around the umbilicus, and later on localizing on the right lower quadrant, which is the McBurney's point here. You, ha you draw a line, an imaginary line between your umbilicus and your anterior superior iliac spine, divide it into three, and the outer third is your McBurney's point. It is very specific for appendicitis, and one diagnostic, uh, one pathognomonic uh, uh, significance of uh, McBurney's point is a point tenderness on this area. No? Point tenderness, I mean, even if you use one finger and press on that area, masakit you will el el elis elicit tenderness on that area. Pag nilipat mo, let's say, a few centimeters away from the McBurney's, sasabihin nila, hindi masyado. And then you go back to the McBurney's point, masakit talaga. That is one way that you can diagnose acute appendicitis. It's, it's, it's uh, named point tenderness on the McBurney's point. McBurney's yes. point. This is... Uh, in a normal person, ah, hin yung hindi buntis. So, pag Kasi, buntis, pag buntis, iba na yung mag yes, point. <laughs> because of the enlarging uterus. Oh, so, iba yung mag point. Uh, yes, okay. this is, uh, this is uh, on a normal uh, individual. Pansin ko lang, Doc, uh, eto lang, ah, parang curious question lang ito. Ano ba yung mas prone sa appendicitis? Yung Male sexy? Or female? <laughs> sexy or yung mataba? <laughs> Wala. Like I said earlier, Del, hindi, hindi niya pinipili. Kung, regardless uh, of the yes, size regard, and shape. Regardless of who you are, exactly like uh, what Dr. Ong said this, uh, Ito, while ago. Kung mataba, dun din na mag burnis point. Yes, yes. It's siya. always there. <laughs> but you will have to press it deeper. Diba? Kasi makapal yung taba pag, uh, oh. if you're obese. Mahirap siya i-identify. Mahirap i-identify. Okay. Ano po ba ang ruptured appendix, Doc? At ano ang mga maapektuhan na organs pag ito ay na-ruptured? Okay. So, uh, once uh, na-inflame, nag-obstruct ang lumen ng appendix, nagkakaroon ng inflammation, secretions of uh, mucus and other substances, which would later rupture the appendix. And once ruptured, mag-spill ang bacteria sa peritoneal cavity natin. So, the nearest organ there would be your large intestines, your small, your, the end of your small intestines, your kidneys, your ovaries in female, and then later on, it will become generalized. Yun ang delikado na. Sobrang delikado Sepsis, na. that's right. Sepsis will set in. Okay, so sa ngayon po, ano po yung unang-unang gagawin kung ikaw ay may appendicitis po? Okay, abdominal pain number one. No? We cannot say uh, right away that it's acute appendicitis. No? So any abdominal pain, magpatingin na lang kayo sa doktor for them to find out kung anong talaga cause ng abdominal pain. But abdominal pain definitely is the number one signs and symptoms of acute appendicitis. Well, is, the, uh, is there a time that the pain will eventually uh, disappear for a moment and then... No, Blandy, kasi once na mag-obstruct yung lumen mo na, magkakaroon ng infection, ka, inflammation, tuloy-tuloy na yon. There is no, hindi katulad nung spastic uh, abdominal disease na on and off, yung parang pinipiga na gano'n. No, mm -hmm. it's not like that. It's continuous. Yung ano, Doc, yung mga ordinary na sakit sa chan. May lahat, connection ba yun? Lahat naman ng sakit ng chan, magpatingin ka na, <laughs> Del, kasi it could mean anything, no? But anyway, pag may mga appendicitis po, kanino na po tayo unang-unang pupunta talaga para magpapasal? Any doctor. Any doctor. Any doctor. Yes, any doctor. Right. And then, pag na-diagnose na nila na acute appendicitis, they will refer to us. Mm -hmm. Pero, Doc, may, may mga test ba na pwedeng gawin to Actually, confirm na... Actually, Elton, uh, ancillary procedures, they are just uh, 
confirmatory actually. Eh. Like I said earlier, it's just physical examination and history of the patient. Mm-hmm. And then later on, magpa CBC ka and then urinalysis. Those are just confirmatory. Hindi po hindi no porket normal ang CBC mo at saka urinalysis mo. You cannot have appendicitis. No, okay. It is just physical examination. Like I said, point tenderness on the McBurney's area. Mm-hmm. Yun pero, lang, maski wala ka ng laboratory. Okay. Pero bakit kadalasan na sinasama yung urinalysis? Because one of the differentials is uh, uni- yeah, urinary tract infection. That's one of your differentials. Pero pag uh, nakita mo na may pus cell sa urine mo, and then you're thinking of some other, hindi naman pwede mo sabihin na uh, UTI lang. Pwede rin acute so, appendicitis. So, pwede UTI just, with appendicitis. That's right. And Or if the tip of your appendix is uh, touching your ureter, but, y- nagkakaroon ka rin ng UTI. You're usually back pain po, Doc, like yung may impact dito sa mind. Pwede rin, Del, kasi usually pagka yung tip of appendix mo nasa likod, which we call retrosecal or retroperitoneal, mahirap din i-diagnose yun. You don't have the point tenderness on the McBurney's, pero high suspicion ka na lang na acute appendicitis. So, non, uh, which means to say that uh, your pain doesn't necessarily be on the right side That's always. right, that's right could be That's on the right. left yes yes and these are the dilemmas already yeah. kasi eh, hindi ka nasigurado no okay po so ano po yung pwedeng mensahe na ibigay natin sa mga televiewers natin no, for like this like i one? said pag uh, meron kayong mga people that belong to that age group tapos nagkakaroon ng abdominal pain mas mainam na siguro na magpatingin sa doktor para sigurado okay Okay, so bago pala tayo magtapos, syempre para nakalimutan ko, yung treatment, yung pinaka-importante okay, the, sa sakit. Na. Like, uh, there's no other treatment of acute appendicitis or appendicitis except for appendectomy, which is surgical removal of the appendix. Surgical agad, to. Yes, yes. I'm sad. Uh, it's very sad to say, pero talagang kailangan mo tanggalin. Walang first aid. Walang first aid. No, you cannot even give actually you cannot even give uh, pain relievers or analgesics because it will mask the signs and symptoms. Yes, so, last, last question. I think one one common question is uh kung let's say for example, nag appendicitis kan you have to remove it, diba? So after removing the appendicitis uh, appendix, will it affect yung bodily function ng tao? Parang no, pwede ka bang mabuhay I, ng walang appendix na? Of course, rin? because it's just a vestigial organ, diba? And uh, yun, tanggalin mo, there's, wala naman ko yun. Wala naman effect sa bodily functions of the individual. Pero syempre, mas maganda pa rin yung alagaan natin ng kalusugan. Exactly. Natin. Kompleto pa rin tayo. Pati ang appendix. <laughs> Pati ang appendix, <laughs> syempre. <laughs> so, any final uh, words, uh, Doctora? Do you have any other question pa for Dr. Rivas? Uh, Or satisfied na tayo sa explanation ni Doc? I think he said it all. <laughs> Okay po, so bago po tayo magtapos mga kaibigan, baka may gusto po kayong batiin ulit or pasalamat, pasalamatan po. So this is your chance to uh, give things or acknowledge yung sponsors, kung may mga sponsors po kayo and your friends also. Let's start with uh, Dr. Ock. Papatiin ko ang producer, no? si Sir Jeddy, tsaka ah, si Mamar. Of course, yes. Our director said. And director, of course. Yeah. And Barbie who is not here right now. And, And of course, course uh, Rachel. Rachel. Yep. <laughs> Rachel Fernandez of Phil Plants. <laughs> walang walang kupas ang ganda, syempre. O magdo-donate daw yan ng ano eh. <laughs> Kuno sasabihin. Obvious ba? <laughs> <laughs> What about uh greetings po, Doktora? Again, Ilocos Sur Medical Society. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> And my family who's watching us in YouTube. <laughs> wow, so shy. <laughs> Dr. Rivas. That's how. Okay, maraming maraming salamat po. I'd like to greet also my mom and of course, lahat ng mga empleyado po dyan sa uh, Gabriela Silang General Hospital to Dr. Besabilia. Hello. Hello po, ma'am. Lagi po siya nanonood ng cure po at saka ng wake up ilokos kasi. Okay, before we end the show, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank, of course, the following sponsors. We have Marcia's Delicacies. To Ma'am Marcia Chua, Ihawan sa Kawayan, Ate Gina and Kuya Richard, Sir Cardo and Ma'am Gina, of course, Tinay's Emporium, Anatomy's Fitness Gym, Mirna Carabin of Israel, 
H.A. Salis Marketing and to Noli Morales Salon. Thank you so much. Hi also to Ma'am Glo and Sir Francis Flores of uh, Hidden Garden. Maraming maraming salamat po. And that's it for today. Abangan pa rin ang mga susunod na episode sa programang Tumatalakay sa ating kalusugan. Ito ang Cure. Bye everyone. Have a nice day.